On any measure, this is a tough sentence. On any measure, this is a very tough sentence. Uh, it's a tough sentence by Australian standards. Uh, I'm advised that so far as Chinese sentencing practice is concerned, it's within the ambit or within the range. Uh, but uh, by any measure, I think this is a tough sentence. Uh, on its face, uh, there was, according to Australian officials, evidence, indeed, if not substantial evidence, that bribery acts had occurred. Uh, Australian officials, as you know, had access to this part of the trial. Uh, and the advice I have uh, is that in addition to Sternhu's own admissions, there was other evidence which drew Australian officials to the conclusion that acts of bribery had occurred. This, of course, was very regrettably uh, a part of the trial to which Australian officials did not have access to. And as a consequence of that, I think there are serious unanswered questions which go to uh, that part of the trial uh, and go to uh, that matter so far as Stern Who is concerned, but also more generally and more widely to the Australian business community and to the international uh, business community. Uh, I think here China has missed a substantial opportunity. Uh, this was an opportunity for China to bring some clarity to the notion or the question of commercial secrets. The Australian government had made the point to China previously, indeed since the detention of Stern Hu, that at one level it may have been that all we were dealing with here was information or material which was generally available so far as commercial negotiations were concerned. And this has been of keen interest to the Australian business community and to the international business community. So there was an opportunity here for that matter to be clarified. That, of course, required transparency, which was one of the reasons why Australian officials and I argued strongly uh, with Chinese officials and the Chinese authorities that this part of the trial should be open, uh, as was the bribery charge. Can I uh, just finish my remarks on the Stern Who matter by saying that uh, my advice is that he will now be taken to a prison in Shanghai. Uh, he will be assessed in that prison uh, and after a short period of time, uh, consular access uh, will be available to uh, Australian officials. Uh, and uh, family access will be open to his family. Uh, under the consular agreement, uh, it will again be a consular visit per month. Uh, Stern, who now becomes one of nearly 20 Australians who have been convicted before Chinese courts and are serving their sentence in Chinese jails. There are uh, slightly over 20 other Australians who are currently before the Chinese uh, criminal uh, and judicial process. And so we will continue to make representations on Stern Hu's behalf, as we do those other Australians caught up in uh, China's legal or criminal justice system. I've made the point in the past that when an Australian gets caught up in the legal system of another country, whatever that country is, there is a limit to that which the Australian government can do. Uh, and this is uh, but another illustration of Australia respecting the legal and judicial processes of another country and there being a limit uh, to uh, what Australia can do. Indeed, our travel advisory for China uh, draws attention to uh, the harshness of sentences uh, in the Australian context.